<clears throat> oh, there we go. All righty. Let me just double check on broadcast. That is my quad. Oh, baby, baby, baby. All right. Like I said, it's been a week. And let me tell you, the things that have changed in a week, I got to do one thing. Hold on. Either on the couch or in the in the room. All right. As I was saying, what a week it has been. Some things have happened. Some things have changed. I think the cloud save will get us back into this, but we are back with a little bit of upgraded hardware, if you will. I need to make sure of something. I, I, I don't know if this is coming out of the desktop audio. Give me one sec. It is not. Oh, yes, it has been fixed. We are good to go we've got new hardware <laughs> we're streaming from old new hardware and let me tell you something it's about to go down we've got the brand new not brand new but we've got the brand new capture card the brand new sound card the brand new gpu cpu combo and oh baby 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 we're coming right here i don't know where this saved right but we're coming in i can't get that manuscript page out of my head i've never seen killers reach out so directly before Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. 
I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Ah, you know what I see? I see that see that film grain vignette. The diner's just up the water. Let's get rid of that, shall we? Where's that? That film grain. Get 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 that out of here. Everything else, the highest settings. Oh, that's gotta be the highest setting. Look at this. Ray tracing preset. We're we're doing all the nice things here. Okay, doing it all. Well, let's make sure. Let's uh, graphics. We're full screen. Yep. <laughs> Render resolution. Uh, hmm. Yeah, whatever DLAA is. Yeah, yeah. Increase frame rate without the performance overhead. We're rolling, baby. Let's go. Front. Let's Shouldn't keep the it. sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. All right, so I did a little searching, right? So I don't need to listen to any of that. Nothing was over there. The map isn't here. I know that much. Oh, Some Jesus Christ. Sleepy. Just a few more days. As in there dancing. This uh, sensitivity is just a little too much. Bring it down just a just a smidge. Maybe a thirty. Doing. Oh yeah, that's good. Now I'm pretty sure if I remember right, there was nothing really in here except that map. I don't want to waste too much time. Um, I know that we kind of walked all the way around just to get back to. This diner down here. Now this, I mean, it looks phenomenal. Look at the reflections in the water. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> this guy's just dancing around. No, don't care. <laughs> how much did you have? Not enough. That's all right. Never... We're on board all night. There they are, waving me down. What is this guy doing over here? This guy looks a little guess. suspicious. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Yeah, that's fine. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. Yeah, you can do that. I forgot there's a lunchbox over here. Case files you sent over, Sheriff. Another one of those lunchboxes. Welcome back, Anderson. Oh, yeah. I can already Congrats, see Anderson. just a huge difference. We'll just, here. just I feel it. I can't believe that happened. I still feel like I'm gonna be sick. Come on, Ed. Have some pie. I'll take your mind off. Flashlight again.
flashlight mechanic was. Yeah, I gotta pet this. Rest easy, buddy. Pet this deer. Can I pet that dog? All right, let's let's get into it. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the Bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? What were you doing at Colgen late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. That guy looks completely scared. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. Man, they were shouting, cult of the tree, the cult of the tree, cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found out. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. Oh. Got how to. How can you be so? the tree what aren't the bookers telling me i found their necklace the symbol is two triangles the cult wants their spruce tree bag tammy finders keepers ed my publisher will want this on the cover tammy found something a necklace belonging to one of the cultists the bookers were at cauldron lake why the prince was built to hide what's there they say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Oh. Nothing to do with the murder. They were telling the truth. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing to me. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> Like we'd even dream of missing dear. Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought. That was just like graininess. It?
Oh. Wait a second. We'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter? That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. I think that fixed it. I don't know what it was. I think I just need to be toggled on and off. This looks fucking great. Alright, share station. So, that's up here? Wait. So that I can talk to somebody else right here? Oh! Oh! <laughs> So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious. But soon enough, there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. Good day. Someone else with a... A cult murdering a man is pretty extreme. Why didn't you tell the police what you saw? We did. We told those two idiot deputies they didn't listen. And they wanted to throw Ed and I in jail for that murder. You know, Bright Falls is just Alabama with bigger trees. This is my case now, and no one is throwing you in jail. If you need anything else, just come to me. Got it. Thank you, Saga. I do like this, because it's telling me, like, that's the only reason I knew there was things to say there. Good to see you. Look at the reflection, just in the... That's awesome, man. So All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue, if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Hey. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. The wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true! More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. What do you think that's about, Marge? I bet they're looking into that nurse. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally.
Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. See you around. Undiscovered map of the Sheriff Station. Okay. What makes one? Oh, there it is, right there. I'll be right with you, sir. Yep, yep. Just here to. Agent. Deputy. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Hey, Megan, how's it going? Jesus Christ. Y'all need to walk faster. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before Thought performing the, the internal examination. Oh, Jesus Christ. Y'all just leave this thing sitting on the floor? What was the cause of death? What are the, the body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. It doesn't add up. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Look at that foot. That little uh, liquid build up down there. Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Stupid. Cause of death. Jesus <laughs> Christ. That 
That's not right. Uh -oh. it says, is this some kind of tattoo? It's too smudged to read. But not. Okay, okay. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marred before removal. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? I'm gonna find out. Maps. It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Disappeared. Sheriff? What the hell? Show me the clicker. He can't see me in the light. Fine. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. That's where I'm going for it. Hell is going on. We 
seeing anything in this? I see a face. I think we listened to the whole song, right? He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose.
Hold on, buddy, before we go back. See if there's anything in here. Oh, look up. Literally nothing in there. Must be locked from the other side. Opening. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Oh, that's cool. We heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. But that's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Yeah, right. Well, that's all crazy talk. Monsters aren't real, and what do you mean the, the sheriff disappeared? Like poof? He's gone like magic? Magic's not real. Magic's not real. Right? Mulligan. Monsters aren't real, and magic's definitely not real. I knew that. I just sniff around. I need something to cut this. Okay. Ah, it's E. Got it. Mm, they're a fine pair. So this guy just come up through here and take everybody down, or? Oh dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. It only had a tour guide, also. Bear season. Oh no, a bear. Help. Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh wow, Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Il Mokoskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, Cheesiest commercial I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why, at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, but the government. We have bolt cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere. Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. Low budget commercial. A tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermos. Thermos. Jesus. We got eight more of those. 
Just, just know, just understand that. Oh, this person's just like, oh yeah, you know, there wasn't anybody that just came out through here. Oh, all of these people are acting normal. You guys didn't just see a large, naked, fat guy walk through here? Don't mind me while I just go through your shit. My client has been held here long enough. Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. I'm gonna point out her face model. Oh, that's that's not a face model. That's just her face. Oh. Oops. How many times do we have to do this, Walter? Huh? I'm at my wits I want end out. with you. Something bad's going down. I can feel it. Let me out. Well, so he was pulled from a mafia game. What's up with this guy? Do you think I like throwing you in jail every other day? No, I don't. Do you have any idea how much paperwork you're causing me? What's up? It doesn't budge. That one of you is stealing toilet paper. I've been counting them and there's an entire roll missing from every every day from stock. That's to take it seriously around here. It's a sheriff's station for Pete's sake. One of these days, I'm gonna catch you red-handed and you better believe you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace. P.S. What kind of nut counts toilet paper rolls? Sounds like you've got too much time on your hands. That's about right. But that's exactly how things happen at a police station. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. This game looks fucking phenomenal. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. But, like... Nobody yeah, Agent Casey here. Nobody saw a yeah. naked guy? We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages Somewhere. haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Did you see a naked guy? Maybe he disappeared like the other guy disappeared. The car can be used to travel between locations. Thanks, game. It's not like I've been playing uh, games for repeat. 25 Clock years. Out, get a beer. Well, maybe through it. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Backstory. Ellen Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha ha. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. <laughs> After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. 
Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. You know, I like these little cutscene, loading screen, dialogues. I think that's a really interesting way of doing a loading screen. Chapter 2, The Heart. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. How'd this guy get out of the van? Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. I mean, look at this. Great. This area is supposed to be close to the public. Straight up. Okay. The dude straight up just climbed out over a rock. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. Got it. I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Gonna walk by these guys, hey. Casey? Hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs. Hello, Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Il Mokoskela. Fantastic to meet you. Oh, and he's yes, the guy from the Stephen commercial. Stephen hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna de Vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous weather saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalanpiirakka. <laughs> Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. The operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs.
Wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. That's all I've got for the moment. What the hell is this? What'd you find there, Stephen? There's signs of tampering. <coughs> Signal was rerouted into a transmitter that is not one of ours. I fixed it so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report for the investigations department. Uh, leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix this thing. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We may want to put more secure casing around the whole thing so that the raccoons can't get to it anymore. Interesting. Dude, I'm a beer. I think I already got that. Yeah. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I, not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Shit, that makes it brighter. Our crime scene's drowning. I never mind. Oh, wow. Rain. It's actually it like home. Underwater. No sign of a nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake, in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. Well, maybe. After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. <laughs> Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved. Forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive... The word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Could I? Somebody's sitting there watching. Didn't see that the first time. Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case? On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. Goes that way, but I want to check this again. I definitely didn't see that chair the first time.
I did, I don't remember seeing it. Granted, it's been a week, so. I say that right there is not coincidental. The feet at. changed I'm getting flashbacks remember Ohio sure the north side slasher but that case was completely different the trees Anderson he hid the bodies in the forest The tracks lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? Jesus I can feel Christ. something. A presence. Nightingale isn't far. I already read that. What is that? These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. Oh, this isn't a good idea. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. The we got fuse to was a in place. 180. It's gonna be a jump. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. <clears throat> Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages. Keep trying. We're dealing with an organized group of killers. 
not a lone serial killer. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. I need to know more about the cult of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. Oh. Right. stuff going. Hennigale went through the same, went through the tree to some other place. Is Witch's Ladle the doorway into the overlap? If so, that's where I'll find Nightingale. Light is the key. To stay safe. But for something more to be revealed as well. I need to find the witch's hut. Oh, Alan Lake creators, you you could have jump scared right there. Ooh. That would have been bad.
randomly falling down this the hill? This is the witch's hut. Anderson, thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. The fuse box is missing a fuse. Great. I need to find one to turn on the lights. Let's set a fuse over here. This fuse is busted. Fuck. This one looks good. You know People should really stop littering, <clears throat> though. Well, that was kind of placed in a container. I don't know if you're littering with that. I think I've already read this. Yep. I already saw that, too. Okay, let's go turn the lights on. Progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. The ritual that you're doing. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's <clears throat> heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. She's just cool with doing that. Okay. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? The cultist leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. Oh, shit. I need to check the general store for the heart. Casey, I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Uh, roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry Don't forget about it. to save often. So that tells me there's not a lot of may there's not a lot of auto saves. I have a feeling we're gonna run into this guy again because there's that giant light over there for us to run into. Holy sh! Oh. What the hell is this? 
this? Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. I think I'm supposed to bind some health items. <clears throat> hey, see. I'm headed to the general store. Get into the overlap. Uh, Roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Motions here. Ah, control. Ah, this is a painkiller. We're supposed to swallow my health quickly. Trauma pad. Yeah, it's gonna go on to one. Quick slot. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Both those are one. All right, it's gonna go quick slot. Uh, number two. Yeah, yeah. What is this? Battery pack. Increases maximum health. Okay. Huh? Hold on. Let's go ahead and uh, do this. All right, we know what to expect now. I, I don't think you can shoot that guy. You just have to shine your light on. What if I can quickly shoot this deer? to burn through the darkness surrounding me. Shit ton of bullets. I got an ice bag. Oh, it's me. Oh, oh. Check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. Gladly we'll do that here in a second. Hold on. Nope. Don't forget, update the code. Which one is it? I'm gonna try 723. That's what we're gonna try. It's not 723, it's not 701. Well, 701 wasn't an option. So 705, 713, or 717. 05, 13, 17. Five, 13, 17? 
What? The backwards? Don't forget, update the code. Oh, so it's the number seven. Right, so it's number seven. She's the first one. So 705, 713, 717, 723. The next one is 739. Easy money. Give me this shotgun. Easy. Thanks. I'll take it. Uh, needs to be one. This probably needs to be. Actually, hold on. This needs to be there. That needs to be there. Actually, hold on. So there. This needs to be. That three. This could be a quick slot two. And this could be a quick slot four. Also, still a battery in this bed board. Wait, was that not a? Oh, that was a, a manuscript page, right? Am I tripping? Saga edged toward the broken door. Thank you. Her gun ready. Flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown. Left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They had been here. Waiting, planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store, like it was just another late night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist, a hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night, wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask, an axe in his raised hand. On the heart is clearer now. Legible. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror.
sounds literary, but what does it mean? I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Found the heart in the fridge. Just like the page said I would. It's the heart in the witch's time? Oh, I know where that is. That guy's body is no longer there. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. Oh, well, I thought that's what it was. But it is exciting. Definitely gonna save. Definitely saving. That's new. I saved in here. Um, let's go ahead and heal up fully. Um, make sure I'm make sure I'm fully there. All right, so we know what to do now. I really need to uh, work on my aim here. It's a little shitty. All right, here we go. That's what we're gonna do. Good job, Saga. Now keep moving. crashed on the far side of the mirror I brought you the heart witch show me the terror literally just dropping on this
I'm in the overlap. Beat Nightingale? Are you still on your way? Are you fucking kidding me? Casey. Oh, Lord. Casey, I don't have do any you batteries me? here. Fuck. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. Logan? The fuck? Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. In Virginia. You're imagining things. Sure. Let's imagine things. Um, and hopefully we can find some... Nope. Nothing... Nothing here. Shit. Mr. Nightingale. Oh, game saved. Get ready for a jump scare. Would you please help me? Alan what White. was that? Wait. Did I get turned around? No, this is right. This place is looping. A nightmare. What does it say? Need to find Nightingale. The writer went into the lake, banished the dark presence. Taken still lurked in the woods. The dark place receded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside. Into the lake. Nightingale was there. One of them. The dark presence. Jagger had taken him. The witch had stolen his heart. They sank beneath the waves. The dark place. Wandering in the shadows. Muttering to themselves. It's dark. I'm lost. Where am I? Who am I? I can't remember. It's cold. Premium cabins for rent in Bright Falls. Who said that? Can you hear me? I need help. Please, stop this. What did I do? You must dig it out. Their shape shifted. Echoes of the writer's dreams. Fading in, fading out. The next story and the story after that. The writer was writing again. Dude, there was a guy right there. There was a guy right there, man. Nightingale? He's here. Nightingale. Signal. 
getting his badge. Thank God. I don't pick up Nightingale's badge. Okay. guy just wants a fucking remote? He wants to watch Friends? He wants to reminisce from uh, Matt Perry's death? It's like, Chandler, can I be any more clear about where the clicker is? Game save. <laughs> Nightingale hunted Nah, you don't want to fuck with me, bud. Oh! Like that, did you there, Nightingale? Big douche. Yeah, no, 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 no. You ain't jump scare my ass. Shotgun to the mouth. Six more shotgun shells in there. Got your name on each one of them, buddy. Killer action. Oh, yeah. This way? your ass, man. I got your number, okay? If these last two shotgun shells don't kill you, I am going to cry, okay? Sobbing full of tears. Oh, Nightingale. Oh, that's, that's screwed up. How you come at me while my head's in a fucking box? I 
I'm literally dodging your ass. No, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That was my last stand. I was gonna be dead if I didn't if I didn't do that. Holy shit. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Are you okay? Oh, no! It's my fault! They got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The, the dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13? I was in college when I first met you, man. Jesus Christ! It's a freshman. Playing the game on my bed in my dorm room. On a tiny little TV. We're not gonna listen to that song. Let's keep the story going. Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. A crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Optional. Investigate the previous... Oh, obviously I'm gonna Alex investigate Casey? The previously. How... Am I still... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Yeah, the PI in your Should look around. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap to Nightingale. If you see pages of writing anywhere, you must take them and keep them safe. Our lives could depend on it. 
They have vital information. We know about the pages, Wake. We'll keep an eye out. Okay. Okay, just give me a moment. It's okay. There's that deer. Beautiful, man. Woo. Looking good. Worth every penny. Why this ass? reality-changing influence of the dark place flowed like water flowed, like fear flowed, down the path of least resistance, eroding the weak spots until they cracked. In places where reality was more yielding, where story told and retold, imagination sparked and fear ignited again and again, had softened the walls of reality, sites of violence and tragedy, where truth was laced with fiction, where a work of art proposed an alternative narrative, something people could suspect to be true, something people felt strongly about, something they feared. The stronger the connection between the belief and emotional response, the better, the darker, the better. A ghost of a witch ripping a man's heart from his chest, two brothers murdering the neighbors and hiding their bodies in a well, a young woman haunting the flooded bunker where she drowned. Bedtime stories, folk tales, urban legends connected to a specific place. These were the sites where the overlaps came to be. A locked box. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Notes and ammo. Looks like they're tools of the trade. Remember they look like the cult doesn't they see aren't. their victims as people. They're like animals, and it's our job to hunt them and gut them. A flare. Oh, more space. Let's go. Flare? Yeah, flare. Propane tank. Shotgun ammo. Reload. I don't think it'd still be, uh, you know. Smoking like that, but you know, whatever you, whatever. Not what I wanted to do, but already. Mm. What? I can't go out that way. Well, doll. Thought I'd be able to at least go over this. Huh. Okay. Stuck.
another page. He'd been on the trail of the writer forever. The writer he despised. Hemingway, Bukowski, Wake. I'll get you. I'll find you. I'll make you pay. You're in over your head. He descended into the tunnels, from the dark city, into the ocean of darkness. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. Something, a presence, rumbled. Not a train. Shadows shifted on the platform. The writer's cult waited for him there. The cult of the word. A cultist leaned close. I carry his words close to my chest now. You're not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. He'd be caught. Murdered. They got him. They didn't get him. He was reborn out of hate. He was there. But he was risen. Sent to find the light switch up from the lake that was not the lake. Interesting. Hold on. This is going back through the thing. There was a spot up here that looked like we just go up it. Let's see if I can do that. <clears throat> right here. Could walk up this. What's up? I. Eight. Reload our, our flashlight. turning into monsters. Which finder's station? Another page. Yep. Back at Witch's Ladle, Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange dark substance. The same substance Nightgale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see. The opposite of sunspots in her eyes. Blacker than black. Suddenly a change. 
The light reacted to the substance, a feedback loop surging up her arm. Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter, burn it away. She just casually walks on the table? Okay. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. It says light is your... Assuming the whatever you call it, the combo is over here. Oh, it's a key. It wasn't that easy. Where's the wolf? Oh, the cult is watching right now. Great. I'm going to take your hand flare, your uh, 12 gauge rounds, and uh, keep it moving. <laughs> Hope you like what you see. Cult. Stash, it seems. Talking about a, a successful success of a catch, I guess. pretty. Interesting. There's something written here. A poem? Or a riddle? What are you talking about, lady? A little clothespin doll. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. Chip, sun, house, love, waves. Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. One bird for light, two for darkness, three birds for a fight, four for a struggle. Five birds for injury, six for misery, seven for the ending, whatever it may be. Pro dolls, that's one. One bird for light, so that he goes right here. Something feels different. I should look around. I think that crow brought me some ammo. Oh no. What is this? Charm. Cute. It'll uh, go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. 
Huh. Taps stagger enemies that more often. That was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. Oh, it doesn't let me move it, or...? We need to find more of those little crow things. Solve this riddle. Well, there's definitely a... Uh, I pick it back up? I can pick it back up. Jesus Christ! Say point blank with a shotgun round, okay. Mm. All right, I wonder if you just keep coming back there as you find the dolls throughout the, the game. I don't know there. Oh, here's another one of those uh, riddles. I'm glad I picked that shit up. Let me tell you something. Another one of those rhymes. The hero, brave and strong, left home to right a wrong. From the woods came the wolf, so greedy and hungry, that he ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero returned to find she lost, she lost, she lost the thing she loved the most. Her eyeball? Candy? A bird? This one's a little bit more... The fuck? That was me. Okay. I think there's gonna be a wolf coming, so let's just be ready.
I feel bad for these guys. Oh yeah, there's definitely an achievement for petting all these damn deer heads. Mounts, whatever the hell you want to call them. Oh, look at this. Easy. Close the door, the wolf can't get in. Thousand IQ gamer. Shit, there's a floor right there. Literally right there. 2549 or 47? 2547? Easy. Dr. Marmot and Marmot. Promise up in the project experiments. The test items used were plastic animal figurines, teddy bears, toy cars, baby dolls. The iconographic nature of the test items was hypothesized to be beneficial for these research purposes. Test results negative. I will continue testing with some advanced items and scenarios. No response from you is necessary, Dr. Eugene Campbell. Okay. Project Nursery Rhymes. Working title. I received your favorable review of my project proposal. Thank you. I need not remind you that my academic as well as recreational expertise in mythology, folklore, and writing will indeed lend the needed credibility to the project in both leading it and creating the test materials. That's why we have all this shit around here. Research into the reality, altering effects, discovering Cauldron Lake area, utilizing fiction and art as a source, and then manifesting results into existence is the objective. Methodology. The FDC, FBC's intent in this research project is to experiment with nursery rhymes here and after referred to as fiction in an attempt to recreate the conditions under which the writing will become reality. The hypothesis is that there are two ways in which fiction affects reality, either by reflecting events that have come to pass, but they're not known to their later creator, whose act of creation therefore becomes the catalyst for these past events after which they serve as the source of their own inspiration, or by the fiction itself being the initiating force in its present timeline using the creator as a conduit. In the experiment, we will create nursery rhyme texts with a specific function and then use the depicted dolls and symbols as needed via a careful testing process with the purpose of the story told in the fiction manifesting itself in real life. A variety of combinations involving the dolls, symbols, and rhymes will be tested in order to collect large amounts of data with the hope that a pattern will appear. Data, sorry. Methods will be adjusted and testing based on our results. Interesting. What do we got going on here? Our profile? No. Creepy dolls, mysterious rhymes, no weirder than anything else going on, I guess. The FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. Understand. And that always goes well. Renek and the rhyme made the environment change. I appeared at the side of the rhyme.
Ron found near the bridge at Calder Lake. Strange Ryan on a sheet of paper with children's drawings. That's not right. Excuse me? Well, that bright falls. There's another uh, figurine. Wolf doll. Hero doll. I mean, that does not go there. Are you kidding me? Where does it go then? Hmm. Does it go there? Right, so I have the hero and the wolf doll now. Hopefully that wolf has come barging through the fucking door. Pretty sure. I have to do this round now. Right, so it says the hero, brave and strong, left home. To right or wrong. From the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry that he ate what he found in the house without a host. The hero returned to find she lost the love she loved the most. I'm pretty sure that the hero doll goes there and the uh, wolf doll goes here. I have a weird feeling something's changed. Oh no. Wolf prints. What is this? Have to investigate. I mean. Oh damn! Think about why though. All right. I mean. Another charm for my bracelet. Saves you from death, but shatters in the process. That makes, me, that makes me feel good. Uh, Wolfie! Definitely picking the figurines back up. I feel like I'm gonna need those all eventually. All right. Guess we go out the back door now. Let's go to it.
Jones. All right. Um, it would be nice if I could save the game. That would be great. Although I've got that thing that keeps me from, if I die, then, you know, doesn't let me die. An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex, and the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality, a blanket over it, where they all overlapped, causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. the car Anderson how's it going down there I think I'm done here I'll meet you at the parking lot nice okay cool I should have got everything I'm good we are good to go of course there is no shortcut He's gonna be around here somewhere. Ooh, it's up here. <laughs> Little uh, dead by daylight stuff in there. Oh, I bet this is one of those houses, one of those safe places. Yep. I like a little uh, Dead by Daylight uh, call back there. Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Feral maniacs living in the woods. Satanists chanting, we watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forest or things not quite human lurking in the dark. There were many versions of the story, but they all shared one important element, danger in the dark, in the woods. Somewhere among all the urban legends lay a secret truth, the real identity of the cultists prowling in the woods, real faces hid behind the masks, real hands held the knives, real people fulfilling a grim purpose. The forest was not safe. People were right to keep their children away from the trees.
Can I get that Netflix? Nice. There's a rhyme over here. Oh. Hey there. A mother crow sits in her nest. Guarding her babies, doing her best to protect her home from the beast coming to feast. But only a hero, brave of heart, can keep the two apart. I knew there was a reason that it lets you pick that stuff up again. So, um, a mother crow sits in her nest. Wait. Would the nest be in the tree? Or those have to be the babies, right? Because that looks like an egg. So, yeah. So, the mother crow sits in her nest. Right there. Guarding her babies, doing her best, right there, to protect her home from the beast coming to feast. Only a hero brave of heart. This is the beast right here. Protect her home from the beast coming to feast, but only a hero brave of heart can keep the two apart. Meaning that the hero is there. Oh. Apparently, that's not right. What? Hmm. All right, hold on. A mother crow sits in her nest. That's her over here. Guarding her babies, doing her best. Yep, she's doing her best. Protect her home from the beast. So is the... This homeboy right here? Think Saga. Well, oh, that's annoying. Maybe he's here. Keep trying. He's and then he's here. Doesn't look right. What? Nope. No. My stupid. Mother crow. Sits in her nest. Where's a nest? But in a tree. Guarding her babies. Doing her best to protect her home from the beast coming to feast. But only a hero, brave of heart, can keep the two apart. That, that guy has to be there. Maybe, maybe it's here? That's it. That's dumb. That's what that is. What did I get? Something up there. Did that do anything? Uh, uh well, we're definitely going to save. Anything in here? Nothing over here. Definitely a wolf out there. Picking them back up because I think there's always a, or something. I hear the wolf. I hear you. Oh, it's the thing. It's literally the rhyme.
Another charm. Good thing Logan made me this bracelet. Come from Oh, you guys kidding me? This thing's this thing has taken two twelve gauge. Yeah, you dead now, bitch. What was this? Increases hand flares duration? Oh. Maybe I should, but I don't. Yeah, imagine if I would've just ran back to the thing because it said my optional shit was done. It definitely was not done, okay? It was not done. The thing is, though, like, I need the key to that. I still don't have the key. Yeah, I still don't have the key to that. There's something up there. That's the road. We'll go over here first. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's the the code. It looks like seven two. One of those things you have to. Like be sitting a certain way. Seven minus two. Five. Five, eight. Are you kidding me? shot with this uh, ankle there so that's something else plus three okay so before I add that up let me see if there's anything over here I think you're gonna do it in the way you came upon it so five eight Another locked box. Five, eight, six. Rock, rock, tree. Are you bright enough? Five, six, eight. Well, Shark Lock Holmes is getting some vacuuming done. What was it? Five, six, eight. Are one of you, are you one of us or one of them?
Dude, there's still a key though. Like I still don't have a key. That's interesting. Then I I must have missed a key somewhere. I don't have a key. I'm sure it's just little items here and there, nothing too major. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Let's go! I looked down at the rippling water. The moonlight danced over each and every little wave. A marching band of shimmering light. Lonely and cold, I hugged myself inside. I thought of it. And the surface of the lake calmed, and like a spectral surprise... He was there. His face smiling at me reflected in the water. I looked up, not daring to believe it was true, but it was true. He was there. My love, my savior, my rider. Nineteen, let's go. This is reload speed. Deals increased damage to enemies that are stunned, blind, or knocked down. Kill an enemy to restore health. The amount of health whatever stored health depends on the strength of the enemy. I mean, I don't know. If I want to do this yet, I mean, I don't see any of those like really benefiting me. You know, can I knock these down? <laughs> What's that? The game looks so good, it's so technologically advanced. That's upsetting that that didn't push that down or knock it down, I should say. Save up here. The witch is over here. Save. Mm. 
I'll see you, buddy. Saw me and said the black. Like, so confirmed these guys are racist. That's that's one thing. It's a long way. I can't leave here yet. Lots of work left to do. What? What do you mean? Take the car back to Bright Falls. Clearly wants me to go the shortcut route. Sound good. Seen that. Warning. Activity detected. A W E. Event in progress. Cauldron Lake. What's an A W E? Casey, what exactly does the FBC do? <laughs> After New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. They have a presence here, and now we find our writer. How about that? Interesting.
Is it not just here? You ready to go? Yeah. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped, that's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's, uh... Just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. If they'd be in danger, it'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. Thirteen years. Hey. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's... It's... It's a crazy jumble, like a... Like a nightmare. I, it doesn't... It doesn't make sense. Talk 
show tonight? Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? Good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay. You got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I uh, sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. Well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with autofiction? No, but seriously, I found the, uh, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. Uh, this is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta-narratives. I have to expect them to disappear once this scene ends. Hello? 
I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home. To Alice. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. Old gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. That number. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. Missed it. Damn it. From the nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. 
A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. I couldn't leave. This wasn't the way out. I had to write more. I didn't remember much. But I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. detective in the film series and of course we have alan wake here the best-selling writer of the books the films are based on let's do this Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I, I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? Uh, he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Casey. <laughs> Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. <laughs> this city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp, shaped like an angel. The only thing that shed light on this sordid mystery. Great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. 
Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? Hello? That's creepy. Hey, bud. Looking at up there. Ah, Lorraine. There you are, Tom. Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> What do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up go, a man's a man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Egony. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Have we met before? 
Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed, like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming, the bulb glowed. It held the light now. I felt another surge from the lamp. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness.
I needed to find another way out. Please wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the bottom to find the answer, the, the map, the key, the compass that's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean that's not an ocean and a lake? That's not like. And that is where I'm stopping. Wherever it. Wait a second.
saved eight minutes ago. Motherfucker. Hey, that's not where I'm stopping because, you know, it saved eight minutes ago. Oh, let's, let's go. Let's see if the video save. Right here, save just now. Enter to override it. All right, and that is where I'm ending. I'm out. Bye-bye.